Hello, I'm going to walk through this database project. In this project, I've written a Python program which can communicate with database and generate a report um, from that database. This database is stored on a virtual machine that is running on Linux system. Uh, the reason for that setup is that most of web servers nowadays are running on Linux system so it will be most convenient to communicate with those database directly under the Linux environment. I have provided my GitHub links uh, which contains the code and a detailed readme file on GitHub. The link will be in the description. Um, the reason for that is that um, there's some details about setting up the virtual machine and how to use the Python program. There's some details that are not really the focus of this video, but I have provided a detailed description in my readme file. You're welcome to take a look at it. Uh, in this video, I'm going to focus on what my program can do and how it is done. So this is my Python file and what it can, what it can do is that um, when you run the Python file, uh, remember the Python file is called reporting tours.py so we can run it by calling Python and the file name over there and if you run it um, you will access to the database, uh, do some and send some queries to it and it will generate a report. It should be popping up in a minute or so because it's a really large database. Uh, here, here we go, this is the first result that will show the most popular articles that are stored in this database, the top three basically. And the other two functions that are still running Okay, here's the second one, which is the most popular authors, which, well, are the authors whose articles has been accessed most. And then the third result is the date on which um, there's most failures in accessing the web server. All right, so as you can see, the program is functioning well, and we're going to look into how the program achieved this. So um, to write the program, we need to really take a look at the database itself first. The database is called a news. To connect to that database, uh, we can use this psql-d and then the name of the database to connect to it. Uh, here, as you can see, when you command line says the database name and the uh, equal sign and the pound sign that means well we're inside that database once we're inside the database we can do a backslash dt uh, which is display tables to well display all the table tables inside the database as you can see this news database has three public tables the articles the authors the logs if you're interested in any of these tables, just do a backslash D, the table name. I say the articles, then the articles will have the author, the title, the slug, the lead, the body, time, ID, these uh, different columns, which are the data structure of that table. And uh, for authors, you can you can take a look at it, it's only three columns, name, the bio, and the ID of the author. And for the log, it has the path, the IP address, the method, the status, um, time, ID, etc. These are the data structure of the logs. And if we're interested in uh, what exactly the data looks like, we can just do a SQL command inside the the database, right? 
and I say if I'm interested in what is exactly stored in the log table then we can select the first few rows of that table and just display it as you can see that the path is simply uh, well, the path of that specific page and this is probably the root or the index and here that we have the i slash article slash uh, the slug of that article and here again slash article slash well the slug of that article and there's an IP address that telling us uh, who is accessing it and uh, this method is get so it's fetching data from the website and 200 it means that okay that this request was successful and when people did it and you get an ID so you can do that to look into the news uh, structure and what data is represented in what way so we're done with news and now we need to think of a way to construct this Python code that talk to this database and uh, return the result that we wanted so inside the Python file we need to import the cycle pg2 uh, library so it can talk to the database and then we store the name of the database in a, a enumeration that is nobody changes it um, which is a very typical when we uh, want something not to change throughout our coding and once that's set up uh, we need to um, define a function that tells in Python, hey, you need to talk to the uh, database. So this is where the run query function come to place. In this run query function, what we do is that we try to create a connection to the specific database. Uh, it's very straightforward right just connect to that database and then we create a pointer um, that pointing to that database because we don't want to download or all, all these data from the database to the memory we just want a pointer pointing to it and then we want to send in the query which is a sql comment that will tell the database what i want to do um, if it's successfully executed, it's supposed to return a result and we can store the result into a variable then we close the connection to the database and return the result and if anything happens uh, we want to catch it with an exception and if anything goes wrong in between we still want to close the connection um, that we have initiated so the database can close securely um, that's the run query part which is how other program is actually talking to the database now let's look into individual functions so the first function is the mp articles which is well function that will print out the most popular articles or the articles that are being accessed the most frequently the query here which is just the statement or the comments for sql and telling the sql what you need to do and here uh, i want to create a result that has two columns so select title and count as number so i only need the title of the article and how many times it has been viewed as a result from a joint table because neither of the three table already existed in the database can tell me can tell me which articles are the most popular ones i need to really combine uh, the log table and article tables to extract that information and this is these two tables are combined on the condition where the path contains something like a slash article and a slash slug um, i need to explain this 
like statement a little bit because the like is like search with some tolerance of variables. Uh, it's like search with wildcard. It's more expensive and time consuming than specific searches. Uh, I still used it because uh, depending on how the web server is set up, I'm thinking about two scenarios. This may be more accurate than using um, a rigid, a very specific E statement. Um, one is that if we have a middle server, like you have server one and server two, uh, those two may have different root paths, like news one slash articles slash some slack and news two slash articles slash the same slack they're actually pointing to the same article but they have different uh, paths or some author may want to edit their articles from time to time they may call it like article slash slack version one and version two and version three they actually the same uh, articles it's with some edits. Um, so in those case, this like statement will actually combine all those actually same articles and count them as one article. If that's not what people want, we can of course change the like statement. Um, and once that's defined, then we want to group all the items by title. So if the title are identical, then we want to count them as what a uh, one row, and we want to start counting um, how many of that items are there. Then we want to order the result table by the count. We want to sort it from most view to the least view so this is where the disk come from and i only need the first three so that's the query for the first function uh, once that's set up the rest is just we want the we want to send the query to the database let it run it and we want to extract the result and print out the result with a nice format in well, the terminal the second one is MP authors. This one will print out the most popular authors, which, well, it's kind of similar to the, to the article, but this time we need to do a little bit of fine tuning on how to join the tables together. Uh, again, once the comments of jQuery is set, we just need to run the, run the query and retrieve the result and lay out the output. Uh, same as the arrow report, uh, the hard part is the query. All right, that's this project.